Okay, so this is just going to be a bit of a flexibility, mobility, um, kind of stretching session. Uh, should be taking about maybe about 10 minutes. Um, first of all, just want to make sure not every exercise is for everyone. So if it's feeling uncomfortable or painful, feel free to you know, change it up or just uh, skip to the next exercise or exchange it for something else. Uh, and just remember to focus on your breathing. A lot of the time when we're exercising, um, it's a really good idea just to focus on the breath in and the breath out, because that help, means that we're controlling our breathing. So it'll help when you get into more high energy situations if you're used to paying attention to your breath. You may also find with some of these stretches that uh, if we're holding it for a bit, um, the breathing out will actually help you relax into the stretch a little bit more uh, and you can get a little bit more out of it. Don't feel you have to push yourself too hard in any particular stretch. Um, you're not going to have the same mobility as me or anyone else. So take it as far as you need to, as long as you're actually feeling the stretch. All right. Um, only other thing too, I'm not going to be playing any background music to this because copyright issues are always fun. So I will link to a couple of different meditation playlists that I have on Spotify, uh, but feel free to throw on your own music um, and just enjoy the stretch. Okay, so we're going to try and do a kind of full body um, set up today. We're going to start with a head going through down to a body roll, uh, just to wake up sort of the upper body and some of the joints a bit. So we're just going to start with a very basic head roll. So you're going to bring your head to your right ear. You're going to drop your chin to your chest. Short or head to the left ear. And then come straight back up the centre. So don't let it roll to the back because I can crunch a bit. To the right. Forward. Left and center. We're going to go the other way. So left, forward, right and center. And again, left, forward, right and center. We're going to take a little bit further. So this time as we drop the head, we're going to let the, our right shoulder come down with it. So that's going to extend our left side up. So right shoulder down, roll the shoulder and head forward to the front roll it around to the left and then pulling up from your right shoulder and again down to the right forward left and up going down to our left so left shoulder down roll to the front to the side and up and around again down to the left forward right and up this time we're going to soften the knee, so I have my back end of the part. I'm going to take um, a little bit more of the waist, so we're going to bend down into it and really let the arm drop to the side. So down to the right, let the arm drop to the side, let the left arm hang down. And just let yourself roll forward, so you're reaching towards the ground, head down from the back of the arm. Come around to your left, and then roll up on your right shoulder. And again, down to the right side, towards your knees, roll around to the palm. Come to the left and up through the right shoulder. Go back the other way, get down to the left, drop, forward, right, and up. Left, drop, forward, right, and up. We're going to do a roll down, so this is going to engage in a spine. Um, trying to basically, you imagine that you have a wall behind your back right now. You're basically trying to keep all the your spine against that wall. I'm going to try and roll them down one at a time and then roll them up again from the base of the spine up. So feet about hip width apart, knees relaxed, just straight forward, straight forward. Raise the chin up a little bit, roll the chin down to your chest. Drop to your shoulders and your forehead forward so you're coming forward to your knees. Keep rolling it down one bit at a time. Just hang there for a second, bend the knees, and then from the base of the spine, roll it one vertebrae at a time against that imaginary wall. Breathe in, you can bring your arms up if you want, breathe in. Bring your hands down, let the chin follow, roll it down, forehead towards the chest, towards the knees, stretch towards the core, bend the knees and roll it back up. Going to do that one more time, breathe in. And as you breathe out, come down, chin to chest, head to knees, 
arms down towards the floor, bend and roll up. Okay, we're going to do a bit of a chest stretch. So interlace your fingers behind your head, pull your shoulders, or sorry, your elbows and shoulders back. And that's going to open up the chest here. And all we're going to do is just as we breathe out, we're going to turn to the right. Breathe in, face the front. Breathe out. Breathe in as we come back to centre. Back to the right. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. One more each side. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Alright, we're going to do a couple of side stretches. So wide legs, wherever is comfortable. This is more about upper body. So we're going to try and make a line from the base of your foot up through the leg, up through your side, up through your arm. So the arm, you don't want to be crunching over or forward. You want your, your head in line with your spine. So not like this, but like that. So reaching up as far as you can with your fingers across that way. You can let your uh, other arm uh, rest. We're just creating this long line across here, getting a nice stretch. And change over to the other side. Again, just focus on your breathing. The other side. And the other side again. We're going to do a rotating stretch. So you're going to reach both hands up towards the ceiling, feet wide apart. And in your own time, come around to the side, face towards the leg. Arms sweeping across the floor to the other leg. And up again to the sky. And around again. Breathe out as you come up, breathe in as you come down. Then I'm going to go the other way. Breathe in as you come down. How does it come up? Alright. So again, we're going to keep our legs wide. Uh, whatever's comfortable for you. I like them quite wide. Uh, make sure your knees and toes are going to go in the same direction. So don't let them uh, knees bend in. All we're going to do is hang over from the waist so that we're getting a stretch of the hamstrings in the back. So you can see I've got my feet wide. All I'm going to do is just let my upper body hang forward. And I'm going to just relax here. So what I can do, if I can reach the ground, I'll place my hands on the ground or you can place it on your uh, calves or thighs, wherever you need to. And just gently rocking your weight between the balls of your feet and your heels. And that's just going to help with that stretch on the back of the hamstrings. Feel free just to let your head and upper body relax down to the floor. Come to the centre. Step your hands out in front of you. Bring your feet about hip width behind you. I'm going to go into downward dog. So basically what you do is trying to do is create a bit of a triangle here by pushing back against your arms. So your arms are straight, and your legs are straight, and you're trying to push your heels down towards the mat, the floor. And from here we're just going to hold it for a second and bend one knee and press the other foot or other heel into the floor. Come back to centre and press the other one in. So we're just kind of walking in position there. So it's giving you a nice stretch up the hamstrings. One more each side. Come back to downward dog. From here we're going to come forward into a plank position. So I want you to push forward, or rather push your hips down, and bring your upper body forward over your hands. And then you're going to be pushing back. So pull with the hips back up into that position. Straighten everything out. And then as you breathe in, come forward. Breathe out, go back. Breathe in, come forward. Breathe out, come back. Last one, breathe in and we're going to come to the plank. And we're going to stay there. 
And from here, we're just going to drop our knees. We're going to readjust so that we're coming to what's called a four point kneel. So our knees below our hips, our palms or our wrists are below our shoulders. So this is a four point, it's nice and stable. Have your fingers open to feel more support. You might think, find you need to roll your fingers or wrists out a little bit or a little bit in, whatever's comfortable. From here, we're going to do cat cow. So we're going to think about pulling up from the center of the spine. So pull up, getting a nice curve in the back. And then I want you to press down from that center and push your pelvis back as your head comes up. Breathe in, breathe back and come and arch your back. Breathe out as you come back to your cow position. Breathe in, up to cat. Breathe out. One more of each position, breathe in, and out. From here, we're just going to do some, some chest and spine rotation, so stay in the full point. What we're going to do is we're going to open up, it's my right arm, out to the sky, sort of reaching up, rotating through the back. I'm going to bring it back down to the ground, open with the left side, and back down. Open again. You can, if you want, rotate the arm behind your back to give you a bit more of an open. And you can just leave it up in the air, that's fine. And then take that down, other side, open. Behind the back if you want a bit more of a stretch. And rotate it down. We're going to go into a butterfly position. Basically sitting on your backside, bringing your feet in front of you so your knees are out. Like a, I guess, butterfly wing. You can hold on to your toes here if you want. It doesn't matter if they're right out in front of you or close in. What you're trying to do is just get a stretch along the inside of your uh, hips. Here. So from here, you can just gently try and push the knees towards the floor. It doesn't have to be fast. You can do it a little bit quicker if you want to give them a repulse. Or you can lean down into it and use your elbows. Or if you want your hands to help mobilize or open up your hips by pushing the knees down towards the ground. Again, I know what's comfortable for you. Just focus on your breathing. Okay, I'm going to go into um, a forward split. So legs open each side again doesn't matter if they're here if that's as far as you can go as long as you're getting a stretch inside but keep take it to wherever you're comfortable that and so that you can still roll your knees and your toes back so we're pointing backwards rather than rolling in pull up through the spine up through your center and you can have your hands wherever on your hips on the floor on your knees anywhere is good so all we're going to do here is if you can try and walk your hands forward so it's going to tilt your body forward keep your feet and knees lower back and that's going to give you a bit more stretch in here just take it as far as is comfortable and then take a breathe in through the nose out through the mouth in through the nose out through the mouth see if you can walk it out a little further in through the nose out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, try walking just one more time. Take it as far as you comfortably can. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you think about that air rushing throughout, down through to the bits that are aching, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Gently walk your way back up to the center. So we're going to do a side stretch, so again, uh, only as much as you're capable of. So you can put one down, hand down for a bit more stability. What we're going to do is reach across, we're not letting our body bend forward, keeping it upright, and we're just stretching across towards our leg. So you can take it as far as is comfortable. If you want, you can come down onto your forearm if you've got that much um, flexibility. And what we're doing is creating a stretch up along here. Other side, so other hand down or forearm down. 
reaching up before you come over. And again, if you reach out as far as you can with your fingers, that will increase the stretch. Come back to centre. This time we're going to try and rotate the hip so we're facing towards the leg, in this case my right leg. I'm going to reach forward with my left arm. And what I'm going to try and do is try and grab onto my left leg wherever I can on the outside of the leg. So whether it's up the thigh, the knee, the ankle, the toe, because that's what's going to be a stretch out here, as well as a stretch in the leg. Two for one. Come back up to the other side. Again, walk your right hand down your left leg on the outside as far as you can. Just focus on your breathing. Then each time you breathe out, focus on the air going into the muscles that you're using. going to do here is just bring both of our knees to our chest, spreading onto them with our arms, hug them in, and you might not be able to see it too clearly, but what I'm doing is I'm trying to raise the base of my sacrum, base of my spine up a little bit so it's getting stretched there. And you can either hold it in position or you can roll it from side to side, or back and forth, so dropping the sacrum and then picking it back up again, or we'll do little circles. This is just going to roll out that lower back as well. So it doesn't have to be fast. If you are doing circles, make sure you go the other way as well. Bring the knees back to centre. What you can do is get your hands on the inside of your knees and just open it out so your toes will come apart and your knees will come wide. I am going to turn around to the back so you can kind of see that position. So I'm just opening out this way. And this is going to open up your hip flexors again. You can either leave them to hang with gravity or you can use your arms to pull them down a little bit. It doesn't matter if the feet close down a little bit. And again, just hold it there, relax, breathe. From here, keeping your hands uh, kind of in the knee joints, let your legs straighten out as much as possible. They might be up here, that's fine, you're still going to get a stretch down the centre. But let your hands and gravity create a bit more of a stretch in the inner thigh. If you're feeling really motivated, you can try rolling to side to side to try and reach the wall with your toes. Entirely up to you. Stay lying down. So this next one's a uh, piriformis. I'm going to lie up like that. I'm going to bring my right ankle over my left knee and think about pushing my right knee away from me. So you can use your hand for that if you want. You can bring your left foot in close if you need to and just pushing it down. And if you want a little bit more of a stretch, you can pick up the left leg with your hands and pull it in closer to you. So you're pulling the left leg in as you push the right knee away. Now relax, put both legs on the ground. Left ankle over right knee. Again, just focus on pushing the knee away. Into. Again, you can grab underneath the right leg, pull both towards you as you push the knee away. And relax. 
it's both legs. Mm. Last one we're going to do is a pretzel, so basically you're going to put yourself into two, both arms out in line with your shoulders, both straight in front of you. Pick up the left knee, so bend the left knee, grab with the right hand, and so the left knees and the foot's in comfortable, and then roll to your right, so you bring your left leg across the body, leave your left arm out on the floor, and turn your head towards your left arm. And just relax in that position for a while. Roll it back to centre. Both legs down, both arms out. Bringing up the right knee. Left hand to right knee. Roll to your left. Look towards your right arm. Just lie here and listen to music for a while. Just focus on your breathing. Or alternatively, you can just turn the video off now, whichever you like. I'm just going to do a few breaths, just laying whatever's comfortable. Breathe in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. All right. Take your time getting up. All right. Thank you for joining me. And yeah, I'll try and do some more of these for you.